In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your payment information for your Xbox console and re-enable your Xbox subscriptions. So the first thing you will need to do is to sign in to your Microsoft Outlook.com account. Click the sign in button while on Outlook and then enter your email and password combination in order to sign in to your Outlook account. The reason why we are signing into Outlook is because this is one of the easiest ways to access your Microsoft account via the web. While on the same browser, open up a new tab for xbox.com. You would then be given the option to accept cookies. I want you to accept this so that Microsoft recognizes that you've signed into your account via Outlook. And then you want to click sign in on the xbox.com website. Once you've successfully logged in, I want you to click on your display picture in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then from here, select my Microsoft account. This will then open all of the information in regards to your Microsoft account, including any subscriptions, payments and billing information that you have with your Xbox, with the associated account. Here you can see Xbox Game Pass and you can see it's asking us to update the payment information as there has been an interruption to our payments. We're going to select update payment for demonstration purposes here in this video. Now, as you can see already, we have a few options. You can see how much is outstanding and what needs to be paid. This is how much we will be needing to pay in order to re-enable our subscription. Now you can see I have a card already, but we want to add a new way to pay. Select add a new way to pay. Now there's extra information you can find here about your payments, but we're going to select next. Here we have a few options for payment, for example, credit slash debit card, PayPal and mobile phone. You want to select credit slash debit card. You will need to add your credit slash card information in order to have it as an option that you can toggle down here and select. Once you've selected your new way to pay, press pay now. You can now see that Muft is processing the payment for the Xbox subscription which was previously interrupted. Now the new credit and debit card payment has been a success. It says that they will be using that for reoccurring payments but you want to have a look at your subscriptions as there may be other subscriptions you may want to change the payment option for. Select back to subscriptions. This is where you will be able to find more information about the payments you are making with your Xbox console. There are a few options that you can have a look at. For example, you can manage your monthly subscriptions, but this may take you to one monthly subscription, in this case, Xbox Game Pass. So we want to show all my subscriptions. Now on this page, you'll be able to see all of the subscriptions that your Xbox profile is currently paying for. You'll be able to manage a subscription. For example, here is expired card that no longer works and I want to change the way I pay. Of course, I've just added a payment option. So I'm going to change that to the new payment option for recurring billing. It's loading now saying, please wait, you will have the same loading screen. And this is an easier way to see all of your subscriptions and of course manage how you are paying for your Xbox subscriptions when paying with a Xbox profile for your Xbox console. Of course there are multiple subscriptions that you may be paying for. This is how you can manage paying for multiple subscriptions on your Xbox console. It's also how you can avoid interruptions to your subscriptions on Xbox, for example, Xbox Game Pass, so that you don't have any interruptions to your gaming and or other services that you're using on your Xbox that you're paying for monthly. So if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, queries or need additional help. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more helpful videos like this. I upload three different types of content, gaming, editing, and online money. My name's Anthony Allen. I've got more content for you, so don't click away just yet. And you'll find some of that content in the end card in three, two, one. I will see you in the next video.